Hello and welcome to the Brutal Iron Gym Podcast, where our goal is to cut through the BS and deliver the brutal truth about topics related to health and happiness. Today's podcast number 1698, the topic is Mindset and the title is, When is Good Enough Okay? Ooh, is it ever okay to be just good enough? Well, if you want to be successful and have kind of like a balanced approach to success, meaning you're successful in kind of all areas without any singular area just completely non-existent. So you don't have great business success, but you don't have any relationships. Or you're really good with relationships, but you have absolutely no money and you have no career and you're kind of depressed with how your, your job has turned out. If we want to have a balanced approach to success, which I believe most people want to have, then being successful in all areas doesn't require you being your best in all areas. Some areas don't need your best in order for them to still be considered successful. Those areas just need good enough. The term, the phrase, good enough, has a negative stigma. In today's culture, it's kind of like if you're not all in, you're a loser. That stigma grew from an all or nothing mindset. But an all or nothing mindset has been proven to be a loser's mindset because more often it's nothing than it is all. With everything you have going on in life, do you truly have an all to give to absolutely everything, to each thing? Likely you're tired. You have limited resources, limited energy, limited money, limited abilities. You're limited. And often, two important things can directly conflict with each other, forcing you to be all with one, but nothing with the other. And each time you're nothing, it adds up. It adds up to nothing. <laughs> in order to move forward, in order to make progress, in order to be successful, we have to accept that good enough is actually the goal. One of my clients, she's been struggling. We've really, I think, like two or three weeks into working together. And I noticed that my fitness pal didn't really have a lot of journals, like entries every day. I asked her, hey, you know, how's, how's food going? And she said she's just really struggling. She was wanting to lose weight, really wanting to kind of get into a healthier lifestyle. So she was only wanting to eat homemade whole foods. She's like, I really just want to get into eating foods that I make myself and I, I cook from scratch. And I was like, well, that, that sounds great. <laughs> and we can definitely work towards that. I said, but right now you just moved. So she moved uh, recently. She has a new business that is all her own. She runs it entirely herself. And she wants to take on getting back into the gym. She has a couple old injuries that she wants to fix. There's just a lot of goals. She wondered, you know, am I doing too much? And I said, actually, no. You're just not doing enough, good enough. It's not that you're doing too much. You're trying to do all of the things all, which is leading to a lot of nothing. If it's all or nothing, you have a lot of nothings right now. Why don't we back off on the all and we just aim for good enough? So for now, maybe not all of your foods can be homemade whole foods. Maybe some of them have to be pre-made, some of them have to be quick, some of them have to be microwavable, some of them have to be just less than what you would see on the perfect Instagram accounts, where every color of the rainbow is represented in every meal. <laughs> every meal looks so beautiful, but it took three hours to repair. Two minutes to eat, and then three hours to clean up. <laughs> I said, you're, you're wanting everything to be everything. You just want your best in everything. But you have too many things, and there's just not enough best to go around. 
You just you're not going to be able to do that at this time. It doesn't mean that you can't make progress. It doesn't mean you can't be your best within the capacity that you have to give to that element. If there's only 100% of you, maybe you can give 10% nutrition and then be your best within that 10%. But you can't give 100% nutrition, give 100% to business, give 100% to developing this new life, you know, building out your house, designing your house, unpacking the damn boxes that have probably been sitting there for a month. I mean, you just have so much going on. There is not 100% to give to 100 things. Once she accepts that good enough is actually the best place to start, she's going to gain momentum. She's going to gain motivation as she sees more results. She's going to gain energy because she's finally actually eating food. And it's going to improve her sleep. Her sleep has been absolute trash because her food has been trash. And her stress has been crazy high, again, because her food has just been non-existent. It's been inconsistent. Her reserves, her, her nervous system is not being taken care of. She has high anxiety, high stress, high worry, high everything. So if we start with good enough, it gets momentum. It gets the ball rolling. It makes a change. It gets us above nothing. You likely have a lot of things that you want to do. But your all is limited. Instead of bouncing back and forth, being fully committed but then non-existent, instead of being successful at something and then looking back and going, oh crap, that wasn't really as important as I thought it was, decide on your priorities. Be as much all in as you can on your top one or two things. And then give a decreasing amount of good enough to the rest. Recognize that there's 100% of you. You can build upon your 100% with better nutrition, exercise, better sleep, better stress management, hydration. I mean, you can build that 100%, but at any given time, there's only 100%. I can't give 100% to everything because that adds up to more than 100%. I don't have more than 100%. You know, if I have $100 and I want to buy 10 things, one thing's worth $20, another thing's worth $10, the rest are worth five. I mean, that's how it works now. Like, that's how you have to break it down. So I might be able to give 25% of myself to one thing, 25% of myself to another thing, and then the rest gets 50 divided up. That is how we can be successful in the way that we all want to be successful is that everything in our life is great. (laughs) So I think about for myself, what are some things that I try to balance? What are some things that I want to try to be my best in? Well, there's my own personal goals with my appearance. You know, I, I have to maintain a certain level of training. I have to maintain a certain level of nutrition to look a certain way. And the way I want to look is based on what I am happy with. However, it also does impact my business. You know, if I don't look great, I'm not going to be able to convince somebody that I know how to make them look great. But at the same time, I don't want to get so self-involved with my appearance that I lose my relationships, that I lose my business. So I can give a lot to my appearance, but I can't give everything to my appearance. Then self-care. i got to take care of my sleep. got to take care of my mindset. When I have an internal angry dialogue all day, that is not a healthy place to live internally. i got to work on that. i got to fix that. i got to figure out what's, you know, ticking me off and how can I catch up and make myself feel better. I have relationships I want to maintain. So I'm I'm religious, uh, Christian, so I have a relationship with God that I would like to maintain. I have a relationship with my wife, Meredith, relationship with my parents, and then I have basically everyone else. Sorry, everyone else, but <laughs> that's where you rank. <laughs> but that's that's in my mind all the time. Those are things that I want to be attentive to. You know, am I checking in with God every day? Am I checking in with my wife every day? Am I checking in with my parents as often as I can? Am I checking in with everybody else within what I have left to check in with that with? I want to be successful in business. Because my business is helping people. That's awesome. 
the more people I get to help, it just makes me feel great. And it makes me feel like I'm, I'm more fulfilling my purpose in life. What I'm good at, what rejuvenates me, what excites me. So I want to be better in business so I can help more people. I want to also make enough money to support Meredith and our future goals. Then there's the regular life crap. Cooking, cleaning, household stuff like changing filters in the house, vacuuming, uh, changing out water bottles. Like We have a, a water dispenser in our home office, and they deliver that twice a month. And then i got to carry those damn annoying five-gallon bottles everywhere. <laughs> but i got to do it. I have to make appointments. I have to cancel appointments if we can't make them, uh, and I have to cancel them in time to avoid the payment fee, right? I mean, there's just so much we have going on. There's stuff for ourselves. There's stuff for other people. There's work or business or whatever your kind of job is. And then there's the regular life crap. And the list goes on. I cannot and you cannot do all of those things 100% per thing. We don't have that many 100%s. So what happens is if we're not intentional, we randomly fail at some or all. We're all in on this, then nothing on that. Then it changes because we see the thing that we were nothing on falling behind. We try to run over, grab that, but then everything else falls. I mean, it's just absolute, you know, chicken with your head cut off. Nothing goes well because we're just bouncing back and forth unfocused. Or we hyper-focus on something. We become the best at that. But we realize we completely dropped everything else. I don't want to have an amazing business, but crappy relationships and crappy self-care. Have a heart attack by the time I'm 50 years old because I'm crazy stressed. I want to have a successful business, but I want to have great relationships and I want to, I want to live as long as I can. You know, within what I can control of that. So success is likely going to be a blend of being good enough at everything. You might have different percentages of good enough at each thing, but it's going to be good enough. That's actually the goal. If you decide on your top priorities, give those a greater percentage of your attention and focus and effort and energy, and then give reducing levels of good enough to the rest. Being good enough can actually be the greatest accomplishment because it'll allow you to live the best balanced life and it'll allow you to maintain a good bit of kind of everything. You can have a good appearance, good self-care, good relationships, good at your job. There's nothing wrong with good. There's nothing wrong with best if you're willing to give up what you might need to lose in order to be the best. And maybe you do that in seasons of life or, or, or decade. You know, there's so many people in like the fitness world where they dedicated their entire life. They were insanely selfish and they made it a huge accomplishment. And then in their mid 30s, maybe mid 40s, they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> I need to go back and catch up on some of those relationships. I need to figure out what I can do for myself, self-care. They need to go back and catch up on some things. And maybe now they have a really awesome platform that they can use to kind of propel them to be, be able to catch up on these other things. So there are times in which being best for seasons or time frames can be beneficial, can be necessary. But we have to be aware that when we're giving more best, more all, then other things are getting more nothing. If it's an all or nothing mindset, if you're giving your all in one place, you're giving nothing in other places. You can teeter between that. You can push in one way, push in another way. But in general, what you're going to do best with is a good enough mindset. 
I'm giving good enough in this area. It's attentive. It's progressing. I'm giving good enough in this area. I'm attentive to it and it's progressing. I'm giving good enough in this area that I'm attentive to it and I'm progressing. If you know that you're progressing in all areas by giving differing degrees of good enough, that is success. So don't be afraid of good enough. Good enough can be a great thing. When it's applied well, when it's understood, when you're giving it in the right seasons of life. Okay. Well, I hope that gave you some perspective. I hope it gave you a little bit of leeway to stop beating the crap out of yourself for not being able to be all into everything. You cannot give 100% to every single thing. You only have 100% to give. And you need to divide your percentage up from there. Okay? So don't beat yourself up if you miss a few things here or there. As long as you're at a high percentage, as long as things are progressing, you're doing well. You're doing well. Okay? If you have any questions, feedback, suggestions, anything you want to know, let me know at my email at brutalironjim at gmail.com. If you like today's podcast, please share the podcast. If you like the podcast, please consider donating to support the podcast in all its crazy costs. <laughs> you can donate on our website at www.brutalironjim.com. If you like the information we share in our podcast, you can find more from us on our social media channels. You can find us and please follow us on Instagram and YouTube under the name at Brutal Iron Gym. As always, I hope this was helpful and thank you for listening.